When the Deputy Central Bank Governor spoke to the annual accountants conference, there was no mistaking how central the issue of sustainability was at the fore for the banking sector. To positively impact on long-term sustainability in the value chains of our economic sectors. By incorporating these sustainability issues, the bottom line of the financial institutions will reflect the creation of shareholder value beyond profitability. Yet, even before he cracks the whip on the ESG model, some banks like Standard Chartered have got it. Out of their more than a billion dollar towards environment and sustainability, they seem to have underlined the issue of value beyond just profits. In three northern districts, the bank is stepping out of its usual character to impact 700 youth and women. Our funding is 970 million Uganda shillings. And this is really towards uh, entrepreneurship. As you know, the world is uh, very volatile, and so is Uganda. You know, we're going through a lot of issues at the moment, the pandemic issues, business issues, climate issues. Uh, and during this time, the private sector, uh, including organizations like ourselves, you know, are responding. We are currently targeting around 700 youngsters, youth entrepreneurs. Uh, who we are training with uh, skills, life skills, but also very much technical skills, financial literacy, how to do a business, how to make a business plan, how to monitor your business, also human resources, like what are the tips and tricks of hiring people, of keeping also staff in your company, keeping people satisfied. Previously, corporate social responsibility has been done as a marketing function to inherently promote brands. But it seems, going forward, prompting the plight of the human being and the environment will be embedded in the core values of serious companies and businesses.